Imagine a train on rails or on wheels, in its own guideway, bringing workers to jobs, removing cars from the highway. It's not far from reality in the Gateway Corridor. If you're sitting in traffic, you're not making money. And if you're just burning gas, looking at the highway in front of you and it's not moving or changing, that's a huge overhead burden for everyone. Traffic congestion in the Gateway Corridor from St. Paul to Woodbury is growing. 90,000 cars cross the St. Croix River each day. 150,000 cars enter St. Paul. By 2030, Gateway Corridor population will grow by 30% and will add 30,000 new jobs. Gateway Corridor Rapid Transit will take cars off the road, allowing businesses to move goods and services more quickly. It will help us compete regionally and nationally and provide focused, concentrated development as the region grows. The major problem is recruitment of employees because this is such a highly serviced area and industry. We have restaurants and retail and a lot of businesses, especially the mass retailers, are having trouble recruiting. So this way with the Gateway Quarter, if it became real, it would allow people to be drawn from other communities into the Woodbury area to service the businesses that are needing to hire employees. When we think of transit, we think of options for employers, and that gives them the option to tell future employees, hey, guess what? You can walk out of your house, your condo, your apartment, walk a block to a train station, a bus rapid transit, come downtown, have a great day at work. And oh, by the way, your car never left the driveway. I think a good transit system will benefit businesses like mine in eliminating the delay that we will have, getting back and forth between job sites. With respect to individual transit riders, um, I'm a little older, so I don't look at it the same way, but I have children that age that are millennials. I understand what they're looking for, and their needs are somewhat different. So to address their needs, as well as the needs of seniors uh, for transit opportunities, I'm excited that we can, we're looking ahead for that to be able to meet those needs as well. If we plan now, then we can again get the best value for taxpayers if we anticipate these needs. Because with seismic changes such as population that uh, could double in, in a certain area, we need to make sure that our infrastructure is robust. And when we look at the rest of the country and what residents are saying to us through surveys and just directly to elected officials is that they do want more transit options. So I tell a lot of our business colleagues, that's what's going to happen in the Twin Cities. You can help make Gateway a reality. Learn how at gatewaycorridor.com. <laughs>